Seminole County judge could be suspended without pay for an angry outburst at someone in the courtroom. I asked you a question. No, sir. Then shut up. Now, this incident happened back in February during a hearing. Fox 35's Valerie Boy has more on the possible punishment. 50 year old Kevin Newton walks into a Seminole County courtroom trying to find a seat. <laughs> As Newton says something while court is in session, Judge Wayne Culver says, Hold on. Sir, I'm doing something. Can you shut up and sit down? Absolutely. Trying to find a seat. That's not shutting up. You want to be held to contempt and go to jail? I asked you a question. No, sir. Then shut up. Unacceptable. Um, I was scared to react in any kind of way because I didn't want to go to jail. Sabrina Newton was in the room with her brother Kevin when the judge's outburst occurred. Blue tape on the benches. We didn't know where to sit because COVID. This judge just let his personal feelings like take over. In this report, the Florida Judicial Qualification Commission recommended a 60 day suspension without pay. They say it was the second outburst Judge Culver has had. The first happened in January of 2021, just a few weeks before Newton's case. We asked attorney Mark O'Mara what he thought of the video. And they are sort of the, you know, they're the personalization of the criminal justice system. Uh, so I was very um, disheartened when I saw that. There's a protective injunction on that video, but the report states a suspect was cursing in court. It says Judge Culver's decision to use sarcasm and mockery to communicate was inappropriate and a violation of the Code of Judicial Conduct. It states Judge Culver failed to provide due process in not signing a judgment of guilt, failing to advise a right to appeal, and unlawfully imposing three consecutive contempt sentences. I like him personally. It's obviously, he was frustrated and it was a bad day. The problem with it is that judges, like lawyers, you know, you have to be good even on a bad day. The Florida Supreme Court will decide what penalty the judge could face. In Seminole County, Valerie Boy, Fox 35 News. Judge Culver did apologize to Newton later in that hearing. Now, Fox 35 News did reach out to the attorney for the judge, but we have yet to hear back from him this afternoon.